very briefly, we'll tell you the faraid of wudu. The faraid, these are the obligatory aspects of wudu, which are mentioned in the Quran, are four. The first one is to wash your face, the full face that is from one earlobe to the other earlobe, from here where the hair starts to the bottom of the chin. Now, if somebody does not have hair, he just have to guess where the hair would normally start. Second is to wash your arms, including your elbows, both the arms. Third is to do the masa. Now the sunnah is to do the masa of the entire head. But the fourth is only a fourth. And the fourth fourth of wudu is to wash both your feet, including the ankles. Now when we say wash, in technical terms, in the Shari terms, what washing means is that whichever part you are washing, at least two drops of water should flow from that part. Suppose I am washing my face, then two drops of water should flow from each and every part of the face. This is washing once. And when you do this, the fard is done. Now when you want to do the sunnah, you have to wash it three times. That is, you have to do this three times. Okay? So, you have to be sure that no part is left dry. If you leave any part dry, even if it is a small hair which is left dry, in either wudu or ghusl, that is basically tahara, it is stated that, that that part will be in the fire of hell on the day of Qiyamah. So remember, we don't have to rub the water, we have to flow the water, and only then we can call it washing. Now, somebody else, see the Ala Hazrat Imam Ahmad Raza Khafazil Bareri radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that what is the purpose of this sunnah in wudu? That is, the four fur that we mentioned, washing the face, then the arms, and the masa, and the feet, these are only the latter four parts of wudu. What about the first three things that we do in wudu? That is to wash the hands, and to do the gargling, and to wash the nose. So somebody asked the Allah Hazrat, what is the wisdom that these are the sunnas and not the fard, not the farai? See the Allah Hazrat radiallahu ta'ala who stated that it is a very simple answer. He said that in order to determine if water is pure or not, you need to know three things about water. First is the color of the water, second is the taste of the water and third is the odor of the water. If you know these three things, then you can know for sure if the water is pure enough to do wudu. So he says that the Prophet ﷺ included these three parts in wudu so that we can know that the water is pure. So when we take the water to wash the hands, we can know the color of the water. Then, when we wash or when we do the gargling, that is when we can know the taste of the water, that there is nothing in it which makes it impure. And then when we finally wash our nose, we can know the odor of the water. Now, when doing the first three parts, which are the sunnah, we know that the water is pure, then we go on to the fard. So remember, these are the four faraid of wudu. Inshallah, in the next section, we will look at the other parts, that is the sunnah, and what are those things which break wudu, and so on. Barakallahu li wa lakum. وآخر تعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله